Dilapidated corridors, walls stripped of life, abandoned rooms occupied only by time which stakes no claim to ownership. Houses are built on land, homes on trust and sharing. While division has become a reality embedded in Cyprus, one organization is quietly working on building a home for cooperation on the ceasefire line. We came up with an idea of, you know, looking for a house in the buffer zone, somewhere neutral. That would be the first uh, intercommunal building that promotes research and dialogue and issues regarding history education. You know, do we have a space in the north? Do we have a space in the south? And it's the common problem that everybody has, actually, right. that's trying to work, you know, across yeah. the divide. But it will always be in the middle, though. And that's so, the point, that it's, yeah. you know, the, the meeting point. The Association for Historical Dialogue and Research was set up in 2003 with the aim of bringing historians and educators together from both sides of the dividing line to work on issues regarding history and history teaching, research and methodology in the hope that this will strengthen peace, stability, democracy and critical thinking on the island. In a bold attempt to create a common space, the Association raised enough funds to buy and renovate a derelict building sitting in the buffer zone. So the place was built in the mid, early to mid 50s. It was flats upstairs, shops downstairs. After 74, there was a Danish field hospital upstairs and my sister and brother-in-law started the business next door. They made t-shirts and uh, sold t-shirts to the UN basically. All the UN had their families out for the summer. It was considered to be a, a treat to be out in Cyprus. So they were all fighting to come out. And we were all fighting each other. Yeah, and we were all fighting <laughs> each other so they stayed, whatever. I remember as a child, when we lived here, we mm -hmm. used to stand on the edge and watch the um, Queen's Birthday Parade. They used to have, the British used to have a military parade here and they used to march up and down in the, in the centre of the moat there. And this street here, where, when you were the living here, was called... The was Edward VII Avenue, as I remember it when I was a kid. Edward VII. And I think it became Marcos Lagos. And now this, the street continues and it's called? Ikinji Selim Jatisi, or Sultan uh, Selim II Street. Selim II? Yes. Okay. One street, many names. Cyprus has seen countless pretenders to its throne. The multiple narratives make the subject of history one of the island's most controversial. History teaching is not something static, mm. something that continuously there is revision based on new research findings, uh, new um, studies. So this is what we're trying to follow up and create a basis where Cypriots, uh, researchers and academics and teachers and uh, civil society activists can work together. To be able to take the perspective of the other is a development. This skill to question your uh, current, let's say, perspective by incorporating other perspectives and reaching a higher level of understanding okay. through a discipline argument. In 2011, these walls will shake off their past and take on a new color. Perhaps those who come to share this space will have a new tale to tell. <laughs>